the homework involving volume and surface area of spheres and hemispheres. In problem number two, we have a sphere and we've been given the diameter. All of our formulas involve radii, the radius instead of the diameter. So we're going to cut that in half for 5.5 yards for our radius. And the volume formula for a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we've got 4 thirds pi times the 5.5 cubed, and we're taking it to the nearest hundredth. So I can do all of this now just on the calculator. We could do the fraction 4 thirds times pi times 5.5 to the third power. Just typing it in, the calculator will do the order of operations. So this is approximately 696 and 91 hundredths cubic yards. The hemisphere holds half as much as a sphere. So we wanna take the formula and cut it in half. So we'll do a half of 4 thirds pi r cubed. Well, that's just gonna be 2 thirds pi r cubed. That's essentially the formula for the volume of a hemisphere. So we've got 2 thirds times pi, and then this time we have been given the radius times the 10.8 cubed. So 2 thirds times pi times the 10.8 to the third power, and we have 2,638 and 33 hundredths, and this is going to be cubic feet. Once again, it's a hemisphere, but we've been given the entire diameter, so the radius is going to be half of that, or 14.5, and it's a hemisphere, so we'll just go ahead and say that this is the formula we're going to use to find the volume. So it's 2 thirds pi times our radius, cubed. 2 thirds times pi times the 14.5 to the third power. So we have 6,385 and 3 hundredths. Oh, 85 and 3 hundredths. And our units are inches. All right, now we're doing surface area, not volume. So the surface area of a sphere was just the four pi r squared. When we flattened the sphere, it filled four circles. 8.6 is our diameter, so we wanna cut that in half. So the radius will be 4.3, okay? So it's just four times pi times our radius squared. Four times pi times 4.3 squared, and we end up with 232 and 35 hundredths, and the units are feet, and now they're square feet because we're finding area.